Right folks, over there, where well, you can't see the tower, if I zoom in, that's Puxton Church that I've just been in. There's a little stile leading into the back of it. We can't see the tower from here, we might be able to see it later. Anyway, this is this lovely cycle that I've always enjoyed and think about. I'm going to try and video a bit of it, which hasn't been done for a while, and it's never, as far as I know, it's never been done with this camera. It's pretty flat now until I get to a bridge, and then I turn from the bridge, I go over the bridge, and uh, I'll head towards Sanford, and then and then winter comes, see? I've cut out a lot of the strawberry line. This is the shortened version I'm doing today. But why it's quiet, another time I might cycle to Yatton. I mean, I used to get the train to Yatton and then cycle back along the strawberry line, you see. Um, oh, look, there's a cow with a calf. Hello, hello, families. You got your babies? Have you? They're all dozy, aren't they? Are they new? Yes, yeah, so this is a quiet country lane. It's very narrow. It's very peaceful. It's very peaceful. And um, there used to be a campsite here as well, belonged to the caravan club at one time. Now he's just coming out, so I can get ahead of him. Now you might catch me up though. This is, always reminds me of ancient times coming along here though. Yeah, I don't know if that lorry, if he starts coming up behind me quick, I'll let him by. This is usually, always usually quite peaceful along here. Um, more traffic. Yeah, see? Old, um, look at these old beams. I think they're old telegraph poles. Lots of mistletoe. I've been taking pictures of the mistletoe. Um, this is the the levels, really, of Somerset. That's the, goes a long way, the levels. This was probably all boggy and peaty in the past. But just up here, there used to be a place where... Oh, look, see, there's all the mistletoe up there. See? Yeah, I can't fit in here. It's one of these farms that uh, had allowed them um, sort of five caravans, camper vans to stay, but I expect it's all shut now. Up there it was. Winter windows. Yeah. Might be that one or it might be further up, but look at this lovely view. Hello, ducky. There's the men dips there. I can see <sighs> Crook's Peak right over there. I can see Robert Warren looks quite small today, actually. I think that's Robert Warren. The trees look like they've been trimmed. I don't know what this camera is coming out like. It's not too windy. It's not easy um, videoing with a when you've got and steering the bike <laughs> with one hand. The bird on the nest up there. And there's some more mistletoe there. Yeah, reens, lots of reens. Cadbury Hill and all that's over that way. Which I walked part of the strawberry line from Cadbury Hill a couple of years back. I went to examine the hill fort up there. But most people love this cycle route here. Somebody come. I'm just going to stop here a minute to admire, admire the view. Just going to stop here.
not many cows about at all. They seem to be very big herds when they've got them. They all seem to be concentrated. And I'm just going to zoom in over there. You can see some tall trees and they've all got loads and loads of mistletoe growing in them. See? They're not birds' nests. That's mistletoe country. Capri Hill and all that over there, look. And you come along and then straight over there on top of that hill. I think that's Robert Warren. Might not be, but it, it just doesn't look spiky as usually as usual, so it might not be. Maybe it's further on. But I'll be going Crooks Peaks right over there. I don't know if it'll come out. There it is. Which I was up two weeks ago. And I'll be cycling within view of that a bit later on. Uh, what I'm doing really is like a huge circle from Weston and I'm going right round. I'm not coming back the same way. I had thought of coming back the same way, but not today. I've got quite an adventure planned to go up to Croyston again and go up Bluebell Hill, Weston Lane. I'll have to push my bike the whole way up it, but I think it's worth it. Gives me a chance to rest and take the hat off and all that and it'll be in the shade. In fact, this has turned out to be quite a good day because it's not too hot and there's a breeze, but not a, not a wind, not a fierce wind. There's a nice, nice breeze. So I have felt a bit dizzy just lately. I think I took a, one of my pills. Um, it was a blood pressure pill. I was hardly, t very, very low dose, but I think I took two instead of one and it made me really dizzy. Um, anyway. That never happens. It was one of them one-off things. When I was changing packets, it happened. And I was going on to a new packet. And I'd already taken one, the last one of the old one. And I took one out of the new one. And then marked it on the calendar. Went, no, when I went to the calendar, I realised I'd already done it. But it was too late. Oh, here comes the... I'm going to let this tractor go by, by the way. So he's coming quite fast. He might go in that field. What I'll do, I'm just going to wait here and let him go past. See, he's coming now. Over and out for a minute. 